I was deployed to uh, Afghanistan and then very shortly after that to Uzbekistan in early 2003 and then bounced around throughout that theater with K2 always being my safe place to go. That was my safe home away from combat before I would then go back into combat and I was there for just under a year. It was a former Soviet air base that was filled with radiation, the detritus of 50 or 60 years of Soviet air base use. The air itself was polluted because of the farming practices in the area. There had been a peaceful nuclear explosion, which is a euphemism for capping a well with a nuclear bomb. All those things conspired to land on top of us while we were there in the days and months and years following 9-11. The PACT Act addressed uh, a great number of exposure issues uh, and has covered presumptively a great number of cancers and some respiratory issues and some pulmonary issues, but there are loopholes. And unfortunately, when it comes to K2, you know, there was also G-series nerve gas that was found there, uh, sarin and traces of that. And they you literally, if you look at the surveillance photos of it, they had cordoned off an area and written danger radiation and danger chemical weapon contaminants. And no one has since been in those areas of the base in 22 years. They knew it when they were there. I have thyroid disease, although my thyroid's since been removed last year, um, anemia, some gastrointestinal issues, severe osteoporosis that makes me about as tall as Jon Stewart, um, and I have, in addition to that, a high, high PSA, um, and they removed a testicle uh, in April of, of this year. The VA covers the thyroid and uh, PTSD, and everything else has been denied. The evidence is all there. The evidence is in their bodies. Uh, the evidence is in the testing that was done. The evidence is in the documentation from the FOIA request. And the secretary today said he has the authority statutorily to make the change to make sure that the K-2 veterans are covered presumptively. He has it. It's a finite group of people who were exposed to a, a unicorn of toxicity when they were over there. And it's been 23 years, and it just needs to get done.